now let's pick up where we left off and continue creating the UVs for the body. Let's do the chest, or the torso. So I know what side this is because of the projection, and so I'm going to make sure to get the front on here, not have a seam there. So I'll go ahead and stitch that front in. Just going to unfold that. There's no other side to the front. So let's go ahead and continue and add the back. We know that this is the back piece. Let me cut out the part that's supposed to be the sort of cut off wings. And then that back goes with this. Unfold. Sew those and unfold. It's kind of therapeutic to see it all come together. Stitch some extra pieces in here that are kind of floating around. Now that is the, the armband. And I don't actually, I want to actually cut where the armband is. So if you have an armband on yours, I'm going to cut this out because the armband obviously is gold. And so I don't want, uh, I want that to be on its own shell. Go ahead and unfold that. And I'm actually going to cut down the side as well. So I'll make that a seam. And then we can grab these and move, move them over to the other side. And it starts to look a little bit better. Up around the collar, you just want to make sure you sew everything together up there. Make sure we get the little bits that go with the interior of these openings. Because the thickness of it should go with the shell that is the, the clothing, not the skin underneath. Sew all these bits of the collar together. So that is something like that for the torso. Kind of move it off. And so now we're kind of dwindling down on what we've got to work with here. Here's the armband. So it's pretty clear what needs to go on the armband. So I'll go ahead and continue and attach those bits. Again, unfolding will give you a little bit of a cleaner look at what you're trying to do here. You can see that needs to be popped over on that side. We have a little bit here. So now if we want to mask off an area that's going to be gold on our body, we can do that just by using this shell. Okay, here we can really quickly do this because we can just select these edges, deselect the ones around the hole, and then just do a stitch together because there's no seams. It's just a flat piece. So we can then select this and do an unfold. I'll put it up with the body shells. Then we can do with the arm. And the arm, you could cut the arm off at the sleeve as well. Um, you could also leave it. I'm actually going to cut it. So we've got the arm and then the, the sleeve arm, basically. And not even the full sleeve arm. Now we will have to modify this for the other side because we'll want to remove the band because the band's only on one side. There we've got our elbow. You can go ahead and cut that elbow out. A couple of edges we just need to cut right there again we can treat our elbow the exact same way select that deselect that when you stitch you're only going to get what you need and when you're all done you can just unfold it and it looks like we've got a little bit extra there we go so we'll cut that off and that needs to go over here 
So now we can take this one, move it up with our body. All right. Let's move our seam more to the inside. So I'm thinking more like that. Go ahead and cut it there and then move everything over. And if you know in your mind that there shouldn't be a seam there, right? You have it, the structure of it in mind and you sew it and it doesn't look right. Don't panic because when you unfold it, it may look fine. It's just temporarily because of the overlap and things like that. You'll quickly learn what's actually okay and what actually is not okay in terms of if you've accidentally sewn something together and now you don't have any seams to where it can unfold, that'll become apparent because you won't, when you hit unfold, it's not going to give you a nice shell like this. Now this piece is part of the arm. So let's go ahead and now we've got the, the upper or the fabric arm. So the rest of this should be arm and fingers. And so let's do the same thing we did with the toes. We'll cut off the claw part of the fingers. We can do these all at once. Go ahead and cut. And then this is the top of the arm. So I'll go ahead and sew that. If we had more distinct fingers, I would maybe just cut those off. And you can still even cut them off. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is just sew everything together on the top here. Let's unfold it. And so we are going to get probably a little bit of a starfish hand, which we only have three fingers and they're pretty wide. So I think we're going to be fine with that. But let's put the hand together first and then we can see if we want to go ahead and cut those fingers off. Okay, so then we have the inside of those fingers. If it gets too distorted, we can always cut them off. Let's make a seam right on the inside here. And as we get that seam selected, we can cut that out and pop it over so we get them all cut, pop it over to the other side where we can then unfold, grab some other seams and start to put the sides, two sides together into a way that makes more sense. And you'll be able to quickly see when something is connected to the other side, whether you need to cut that off or not. Then you can just go through that cycle of cutting and sewing, stitching, and then unfolding as you start to stitch all of these pieces back together. And you'll see as you select those you know, edges, you select one of them, the other one gets highlighted. It'll be pretty apparent where those connections can be made. And if it, you don't see any other connections, then it's probably a piece sitting somewhere off in the distance. So that's what I'm talking about starfish or it's all splayed out kind of like a pelt map. A lot of times it's not going to be the ideal way. And so, like I said, you could come in here and select at the base of the fingers and do each finger by itself. So you would cut that out, bring the fingers off and then, you know, do this one. You could do this one at the base. You could actually do it a little bit further down if you wanted to. And so this one will do here as well, you know, unfold each one of those pieces. And if you think about it, the, the fingers are cylindrical shaped. So the, the layout makes sense and then grab the thumb and we'll bring the thumb down and put those pieces together and then unfold that whole thing. Cut right there and then add those other pieces over here. And then you just have the base left over, but you don't have the fingers all crowding into each other. Now the only thing left is the claws. So we've got three of them. Start stitching them together. 
So finish up the rest of those claws. And then in the next clip, we'll take all the pieces that we've got. We'll mirror the body across to get the complete body. And then we will assemble and lay out all of the different shells that we've created.